friends. Today is the first day of summer reading, which is going to be every Wednesday for the next six weeks through the summer. I'm sure that you've come and picked up your bags that have your crafts and your activities in them. Um, and this week we are talking about zoo animals. I love zoo animals. Do you like going to the zoo? I do too. So our first book, we're gonna read two books today. So our first book is called Through with the Zoo. What do you think's going on on the cover? It looks like a goat. And those look like kids chasing the goat. What kind of zoo do you think a goat would be in? Let's read it and find out. Through with the Zoo by Jacob Grant. For Javi, our little goat. Goat always dreamed of having space. He didn't want hugs or rubs or anyone near him. But Goat lived in a petting zoo. Do you see the picture? Do you see how all the kids are handling him? I bet he doesn't like that. Every day, the small petting zoo was packed with grabby little hands. Do you think he looks happy? I don't think so. Goat looked out at the animals in the big zoo, so safe from wild children. He would find a space out there just for him. He's escaping. Oh my gosh. He tried living with a clingy koala. All the koala bears hugging him. He tried living with a nosy elephant. Oh man. Goat tried living with many animals. The space was not an easy thing to find. Finally, Goat's search brought him to a lone tree. It was a quiet place that could be all his own. I bet he's happy. Goat had more space than he had dreamed of. But was it too much? Oh, he's in the tree. He looked all around and knew that no one could get near him anymore. No little faces. No little hands, no little hugs. All that empty space was missing something. He's looking back at the zoo. Goat never thought he would miss the petting zoo. There he goes. But everyone needs a hug now and then. 
Whenever Goat wanted a little space, he knew just where to find it. The end. I like that book. So we have another book. This book is a funny book. It is called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. That's what a naked mole rat looks like. By Mo Willems, one of my favorites. The sign says, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. Number one, they are a little bit rat. Number two, they are a little bit mole. Number three, they are all naked. Well, they were with one exception. Wilbur the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. Hello. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, Yo, what are you doing? Yuck. I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be Fancy, or funny, or cool, or I can just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ew! Yuck! If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. Hmm. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. That sign says clothes. The other naked mole rats did not. They're carrying them off. Oh my gosh. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked, naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. Why not? asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. Oh, they look mad. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Then he thought some more.
Finally, he said in a heroic and regal voice, Gather the colony. I shall make a proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. You see what he has on? It sucks. Maybe not safe enough. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat <clears throat> and proclaimed, Fellow naked mole rats, I have never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. It's a nice outfit. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Everyone else is wearing clothes. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. Number one, some of the mole rats were naked. Number two, some of the mole rats were clothed. And number three, all of the mole rats had a great time. No exceptions. The end. That was a pretty silly book, right? Okay, well, in just a few minutes, we are going to start with our Zoom program with the Knoxville Zoo, and they are going to be showing us some animals. So if you can, Click on the link to join the meeting. You will have an opportunity to ask questions about the animals, and I think it's gonna be a great time. We will have another video about the crafts in your bag, and until then, I will see you next week. Bye!